Hey everyone, this is Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. We're going to take a look at the Husqvarna 450X automower. This is Husqvarna's top of the line unit with the GPS, capable of taking care of almost an acre and a half of grass, and that's grass, not including your house. But instead of doing like a full review of it, we're going to give you an overview of what our summer was like using this unit what you might expect if you're interested in one of them and kind of how everything goes. Uh, we've had this unit for 726 hours, which sounds amazing. That's a lot of mowing with this guy, but you have to picture it doesn't mow a lot of grass while it's out. It's got a big body here, but it only has about a 12 inch area that it mows and it mows with razor blades. So this, is, this unit is meant to go out cut probably an eighth to a sixteenth inch of grass every other day or every other day and it's meant to keep up on the yard so it always looks cut. Now Husqvarna told us when we got this first of all this unit is going to take care of all the weeds in your yard you're not going to have them because they're going to be cut they're never really going to be able to grow and we had a chance to test that out on a lot next door since we own a lot with our house in an empty lot directly next to us. I will say that that is not true. And what happens is while you cut the weeds down, the weeds start to know that they can't grow up and they start to grow sideways. So instead of having your dandelion start to grow straight up, it starts to say, hey, I can grow sideways and get my flower over here. Well, it did take care of some, it did not take care of all or many of the weeds. They all kind of adjusted to the mowing and still survived. This unit particularly has a 2.4 inch cut height maximum. So it'll go down to like an inch, uh, in, but that's, that's golf course heights and that really kind of hurt us. And I'll get into that, especially in the summer, but we did get along with it and we will still continue to use it, but we do look forward to Husqvarna possibly coming out with something that will cut our grass at three and a half to three and three quarter inches. So first let's start out with insula installation. I have a little bit of a complex yard with a fence system in it. We have a dog that stays in the fence, so we don't want to leave our fence open at times because we might have the dog out there. We didn't really want to carry this unit inside the fence because this was supposed to be an automatic mower. This guy pulls in, charges himself, does everything itself. We didn't want to deal with the headache. So in our case, we mowed the fence on the inside by you know normal ways with the lawn mower, which Looking at it now, I might change my mind on that and just say, look, open the fence or carry it in, let it do its thing, and then get it back out. So installation is like a dog fence. You have to put a wire around your whole yard, and this unit will stay approximately 4 to 12 inches away from it, depending on how you set this unit up. Very simple, when the wires are right directly next to each other, uh, the unit doesn't even see them, it just goes right over top of them. And basically you're limited to I think 700 meters of wire. Now inside that uh, you can do a lot of different things to keep things away, but if you have a boulevard that's complicated because you have to send a guide wire across to say here's how things go. So you might have to have the ability to either get a wire underneath or cut through your sidewalk. So if you have like islands and different things like that, these can be complicated, but no, it's not that complicated. And if you really want to do it, you can get it done. Just don't worry about it. Think about it, come up with a way it'll happen. Then beyond that, when you install it, Husqvarna says, cut your grass short, then lay the wire over top, put some pegs in, hold the wire down. That did not work that well for us because you can also bury this wire. Uh, and what we told Andy, if you've seen Andy's video on the Landroid, we said just figure out where your wire is going to be, mark it out somehow, and take a string trimmer and cut your path with the string trimmer and then lay the wire down. If you do that, you won't have any issues. What we ended up with laying the wire on top, in some places the wire was just high enough that it would grab a wheel underneath while the unit was backing up. It would pull that wire up just slightly and then next time the mower came by, it would slice the wire. This, once the wire is sliced, there's no connection. This unit will completely shut down. You'll have to go out, fix the boundary wire, and then the unit will start working again. That's protection so this unit just doesn't run away on you. 
And speaking of runaway, there's different alarms that are in the system that you can set up so that if somebody picks it up, it will actually sound off different alarms. It will notify you via phone if you have this particular model and the app set up in your phone. All kinds of crazy stuff that this will do. Uh, but I learned because of my trouble, different portions of the yard where this unit couldn't climb or hills or things to turn off the alarm because I didn't need all my neighbors hearing this going when I was at home. So when you have this unit, what you should expect is that this unit will keep 95 or 99 percent of your lawn perfectly cut at all times. What it won't do in certain cases is get directly next to landscaping. You don't want this to catch on any of your landscaping uh, surrounds or any of the trim around it. So you got to keep it back a little bit. So you're going to go out and trim that weekly, depending on how fast your grass grows, or possibly even every other week. It all depends on, obviously, rain and other items. Now with that said, this unit does have a weather timer in it, so it will use the internet to look for weather and or its rain sensor and say, do I need to cut as often? It's very hot, grass might not be growing, stuff like that. Cool system inside of this. I don't know that it's necessary. Uh, we just let it cut. We set a schedule up. Basically, it cut two days, had one day off. Cut two days, had one day off. And you can schedule this to run during the day or at night. We did both, uh, certain circumstances. When we first installed it, this unit got so much attention that we had people knocking on our door asking what it was. We had people coming by and even landscaping companies walking by and just saying, hey, what is it? And it was a good chance for us to get some feedback. The feedback was both positive and negative with some people saying, hey, that's just gonna take away jobs. And I kind of chuckle at that because that seems like what our whole goal is with robotics, computers, and all kinds of things that supposedly make our life easier. They all take away jobs. And simple fact is, will this take away jobs? Maybe it might take away some of them, but in another case, it's gonna open up a door for someone else to buy these, rent them out, lease them out, and take care of multiple yards or more yards than they can. Normally with a lawnmower, just simply come around, trim, and keep up with them. Different ways, everything's changing, but soon we're gonna have little cars running around from Tesla that are gonna be Uber drivers, and we're not even gonna have a driver in them. Guess what? Someone else's job is taken away, and we love technology. So back on track to this mower, Auto, awesome, awesome response from a lot of people. It was neat. And it also has LED eyes on it, so it really looks like something odd at night while it's cruising around your yard. There's no reason for the lights other than to look cool at night, and they do. So during the summertime when it was very hot, that's what we did. We mowed later at night, through the night, so that we didn't have a lot of heat on the grass after it was just cut. It didn't seem to have any tracking since this thing bounces around like a Roomba vacuum with absolutely zero, um, no, nothing, no straight lines, but really it doesn't leave any tracks. So that's a good thing. I mean, a lot of people go, oh, it looks like somebody was drunk and bouncing around your yard, but about a half hour after this is left, you can't even see where it went. So it doesn't really matter in that case. Uh, mowing at night worked out excellent and the issue with the 2.4 inch cut height came to fruition in the summertime when it's 90 degrees out. The sunlight could get through, dry out the dirt, so we had to turn our sprinkler system on more often, which cost us a little bit more money because we were watering twice a day to keep up. That's where this thing had a big downsize, and I realized that 2.4 inch cut height on this unit is probably gonna eliminate 50% of the buyers from looking at it just because they want their grass taller, I don't blame you. Now, the GPS on this unit is able to see where it's cut and where it hasn't. In the app, you can actually see it bouncing around and it'll give you lines and show you where it's been for the past half hour. Um, you can also turn the GPS off. Use this with guide wires. It can handle up to three different guide wires that will send it to three different zones and it will look at those zones and say, okay, I'm gonna mow zone one here, zone two here, zone three here. You can even go in and say, mow zone one 50% of the time, zone two 20, zone three 30. 
Setup is crazy, but it's simple. It's not hard, it's easy to understand, and it's just take your time, go through it, and read the manual. And sometimes reading the manual is overrated in this case. Just play with the unit, figure it out. Most of the guides and different things like that are worth setting up. If you have it set up with just the GPS, they will say, excuse me, they'll say there's no reason for a guide wire. There is if you have a complicated lawn, and I would suggest that you do put one in. In our case, we're mowing a little bit of our neighbor's yard, and this unit comes back on a guide wire because there's only four feet of area that it needs to come back. A little bit awkward, but that's going to be the way these things are set up. So if you're using your phone app, you can turn this thing on, turn it off. It can mow in the rain without issue and it's designed to be that way. The one thing that I wish it was designed a little better for is cleaning. They tell you not to take a hose to this, which if it can be out in the rain, you'd only hope that you could take a hose and clean it off, not the case. But either way, it's not hard to clean up. There's not much to it. There is a lot of computers in here and there is a battery, which that battery is very surprising. It'll go out and cut for three hours at a time and then come back and charge for an hour, back out for three hours. So it is crazy for the amount of time that the battery lasts in all the communications that it has and all the GPS. Everything in here works quite well for what it is. You're gonna set this up if you have, we have about an acre and a quarter of land with a house and a pool and driveway, so we don't have a lot of grass. It probably takes 10 hours to cut everything, but that's 10 hours of unwatched just out it's doing its thing. Uh, they lay out different things in the manual telling you how long you need to cut, how, if you wanna set it up to cut one day, 10 to 24 hours, and then cut the next day or not cut the next day. Whatever you think you need for your lawn to grow and be healthy. Lots of options, lots of cool stuff there. Overall, would I purchase this unit again? And that's, uh, that's something that I've asked myself a lot of times with this. I've had little issues with it, mostly my fault. There's this power switch on the bottom. If it ever gets stuck, you have to pick it up, move it, you put in a code and it'll restart. I've turned that power switch off on accident before, searching around this thing, why won't it turn on, why won't it run, only to find out, look dummy, you turned off the power switch. Uh, it's just, Different little things like that, fixing the wire around the outside because uh, kids were in it, tripped over it, or an ATV drove over it and you know spun their tires a bit, broke the wire. Just little things like that were an annoyance. But I'll tell you, not going out and mowing the lawn, and not worrying about that was something that I have never experienced before. I'm a do-it-yourself guy. I'm not gonna hire someone out to do my own lawn. I'm gonna do it. And I guess this was a different experience for me where I kind of felt like I was still taking care of it at least. I wasn't paying someone to do it, although I purchased this. Uh, but at the same point, it was getting done. So the time being able to spend with the family, connect with you guys on YouTube or doing different things was nice and I think it's well worth it. These have been in Europe for five, six years, and they're continuing to grow and move over to the United States. I think that's gonna be huge. I think next five years, you're gonna see a lot more of these around from a lot bigger companies, and they're just gonna to continue to flood the market and become more of the norm. I bet in five years, the people that are looking at this video and saying you're crazy for wanting to own one of these, or you're lazy, will probably have one. Kind of crazy how technology works and how different things happen, but overall, yes, I would spend the money and invest in something like this again. The cut height is gonna be a big determining factor in costs. I wouldn't have to water my lawn hardly at all in the summer if this would come up to three and a half, three and three quarter inches, and I think that would help a little bit more with some of the weeds. Now, my front yard has zero weeds in it. The side lot had weeds in it before, still does. But either way, this unit being able to come in, charge, take care of itself 99% of the time, unless it's stuck on some ledge or hole in the yard, uh, very efficient way of spending your time in mowing the lawn and getting around things. If you have a cabin up north, 
this would be great. You, you know, you go up there and you're weekend off, and what do you gotta do? First thing you get there, mow the lawn. Now what this doesn't do, flat out, is take care of leaves. Uh, this mulches, as I said, it takes care of an eighth, sixteenth inch, maybe three eighths inch of uh, cut. It will not take care of twigs, it will not take care of leaves. It is not dangerous for animals, it's not dangerous for people. Uh, it's got a spinning disc underneath, and if it hits something, these razor blades will fold, fold back. They're only held out by the inertia of this thing spinning. So you can put your hand underneath this while it's turning. I wouldn't suggest it, but you could. It would sense it, but at the same point, if you got to the blades, it probably wouldn't even cut you. Uh, so nice unit for safety, but you could leave it up at your cabin, walk up, cabin's done, spend five minutes going around trimming, and life's great. So overall, if you're looking at something like this, don't be scared. Don't think, wow, can I make it work? Or, oh my God, installation's gonna take a long time. No way, we installed this unit at our house with a spare lot. Went around all of our landscaping, which we have a ton of, around fences, around trees, around all kinds of stuff, and we had it all installed and running in two hours. And I had a lot of questions on what I was gonna do, and I made more out of it than what it actually is once I got down, uh, down to installing it. So if you're looking at this, don't be afraid, jump in, enjoy it, enjoy some time off. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd be happy to give you my experience on it. I don't have experience with any other auto mower or robotic type mower than this, but I'll tell you what I think, tell you if I think it'll fit, ask me anything. We appreciate your time. I know this is a little bit different video, a little bit more like a podcast. We're just talking about this stuff. There's not a lot of specs here. We're not going through things. But if there's interest, we'll come in, walk you directly through this mower, show you exactly what it does, how it cuts, different areas like that. And I think it'll be well worth both of our time if there's interest. So thank you for your time. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and check us out on social media. We have a lot of different projects going on and also some giveaways. We are going to be at a lot of different shows, so keep up with us there. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.